What's up guys, welcome to your 129th Android tutorial for the new Boston. What we're going to do is we're going to get into Google Maps. So I want you guys to uh, go to this website, code.google.com forward slash Android forward slash add dash ons forward slash Google dash APIs. Um, and this is basically what we're going to follow to set up Google Maps. We're going to need to get a, a uh, fingerprint for the most part to develop for Google Maps and we're gonna walk through first the the debug key that we're gonna use and then uh, when we finalize our project and put it on the market we're gonna have to reestablish that fingerprint mark but uh, you know you guys wanna go to this website and this will get us going here so let's go into our project or into Eclipse here and uh, just start a Google Maps project um, we can't just add the API or the jar into our project which I tried doing um, I made a tutorial doing it that way but it didn't actually end up working so uh, we're gonna actually create a new project just for Google Maps and we're gonna go to right click um, you know right click in that free space go to Android project and then type in whatever you guys want uh, maps and we're gonna say com dot the new boss in or whatever you guys want to label this again if you don't have to follow along for our package name but we're just going to call this Google Maps and uh, we're going to still work with the 8 API level and we need to select this Google Google API's here um, again for level 8 um, otherwise we aren't going to be able to use the methods for Google Maps and as you can see here our first activity um, called maps activity which we're actually going to change we're just going to say main something like that but uh, yeah you can click that and it'll get a project set up and again if you guys didn't have the Google um, API option what you're going to want to do is go again to our window tab Android SDK AVD manager and we're going to select uh, actually we're going to select available packages and we're going to select third party add-ons right here and then what we're going to do is we're going to select Google and here's the Google API where we can use Google Maps and all the powerful methods that comes along with Google Maps so you're going to select one of those and install it and then also what we're going to need is we're going to need an emulator that's going to be able to run Google Maps I have one set up there already but um, once you install again that uh, I have it running but so once you install that Google API package what you're going to do is you're going to go into your emulator or virtual devices and we're going to create a new one called Google Maps emulator something like that we're going to select our target again the target of Google API's and level 8 so you're going to select that and again just if you want to have an SD card throw that in there create AVD and this is where we're going to run our Google map applications off of this emulator because it won't work on this one let's get into setting up a project and also just to let you guys know in the next tutorial uh, you won't see this maps package because like I said I already created some tutorials but the way I created them didn't actually work so the next tutorial is still going to be the same concept uh, but um, so just keep that in mind if you don't see this maps we're still gonna be working with this maps project but you might not see it in the next tutorial and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna go into the Android manifest of our maps project and we need to set up a permission to use the internet so we're gonna go down to our permissions and we're gonna say add uh, uses permission and then select the choice for the internet which is Android permission internet and there we go we're gonna save our project the last thing we have to do is we have to go into the manifest and we have to refer to this new uh, jar for the mo most part so we can use the Google Maps API so again if you guys get lost you can just go to this website and it'll kinda show you guys <clears throat> how to set up everything if you like reading how to learn stuff uh, you can just follow this to do the install but if you guys like watching just follow these series uh, this series here so once you guys go to this website you can click on like the obtaining maps or uh, whatever one of these options here and then scroll down to the bottom and as you can see we need to 
use this code in her manifest. So we're going to copy this, um, or if you guys want to type it out, you can as well. But what we need, where we need to add this is right below our application bracket in our manifest. Um, not within an activity, but right below the application. And we're just going to hit Control V to paste it. And this is the code you guys need. Uses library Android or Android name com.google.android.maps. And now we can start developing for a Google Maps activity which we're going to get into in a few tutorials. Uh, the, again, the next tutorial, you're just going to obtain the fingerprint that we're going to need, and I'll catch you guys then. Have a good one.